In the beginning of time, God brought forth the heavens and the earth. Following this, on the second day, he fashioned the celestial beings, archangels and cherubim, destined to dwell in the celestial realms. Among these divine entities stood the illustrious figures of Gabriel and Michael, radiating magnificence. Yet another being distinguished himself amidst them with unparalleled beauty and splendor, Lucifer. He held a paramount position among God's creations, unmatched in significance. Nevertheless, despite his myriad virtues, or perhaps because of them, Lucifer succumbed to pride. This insidious vice breeds arrogance, vanity, and boundless haughtiness. Pride, among the cardinal sins, led the mighty Lucifer to perceive himself as so flawless that he dared to erect his own throne, surpassing even that of God's. He aspired to be akin to the divine. To execute his scheme, the fallen angel deceived those around him, weaving a web of deceit that ensnared a third of the heavenly host. Thus, the progenitor of falsehood garnered allies for his rebellion. Together, they waged a celestial war for dominion over heaven. Yet, Lucifer faced a formidable adversary in Archangel Michael. Leading the celestial armies of loyal angels, Michael engaged the rebels in battle. Lucifer, in his defiance, assumed the form of a mighty dragon, confronting Michael who brandished a flaming sword. Despite the dragon's immense power, it could not overcome Michael, who was fortified by the divine presence of God himself. Lucifer and his fallen angels plummeted to the earth, their descent marking the inception of hellish realms. Yet Lucifer endured a fate more severe than his cohorts, once the epitome of celestial beauty he was transfigured into the abhorrent figure of Satan, bearing the weight of his rebellion for eternity. Resigned to their infernal abode, Lucifer and his fallen angels dwelled within the depths of hell. Despite their defeat, Satan nursed an unquenchable thirst for vengeance against his creator. In his relentless pursuit of retribution, he set his sights on humanity, God's most cherished creation, fashioned in his own image and likeness. Assuming the guise of a serpent, Satan slithered into the pristine Garden of Eden, cunningly persuading the innocent Eve to partake of the forbidden fruit. With his honeyed words of deception, Lucifer orchestrated the original transgression, leading Adam and Eve to their expulsion from paradise. Thereafter, Satan dedicated himself to estranging humanity from God, ensnaring them in sin and thwarting their path to redemption and heavenly bliss. Assuming the guise of a serpent, Satan slithered into the pristine Garden of Eden, cunningly persuading the innocent Eve to partake of the forbidden fruit. With his honeyed words of deception, Lucifer orchestrated the original transgression, leading Adam and Eve to their expulsion from paradise. Thereafter, Satan dedicated himself to estranging humanity from God, ensnaring them in sin and thwarting their path to redemption and heavenly bliss. Indeed, Lucifer, the fallen angel, once a favored angel, spurned the grace of God, thereby consigning himself to an eternity of relentless defiance, perpetually striving to undermine the Creator's divine work, and therefore will spend eternity trying to destroy his work. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Get inspired with Zebra Inspire. See you in the next video.